slow cooker ribs, and baked beans. These ribs are so simple and they just fall off the bone. And this mango chili barbecue baked bean recipe is so flavorful. Both of these are made in a slow cooker. If you only have one slow cooker, you could make the beans the day before or just before bed, or the beans can be made on the stove, but you have to keep a good eye on it. Dry beans soak up the liquid and it evaporates fast, so you might have to add more. Now let's start the ribs. First, I make a blend of seasoning that I rub onto the ribs. Three tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one half a teaspoon of ground ginger, one teaspoon of salt and pepper, and one teaspoon of cumin. For my rib recipe, I add one quarter cup of apple cider vinegar to the bottom of the slow cooker. Next, I'm flipping the ribs over and removing the membrane. Removing this helps the seasoning get through both sides and there will be less of a chewy texture underneath. I just take a knife and at one end of the ribs, I get underneath it enough to where I can grab a hold of it and peel it off. It helps if your hands are dry. Sometimes they are a little more difficult to remove. I was lucky and this one came off all in one piece. Next, I'm cutting my ribs in half so they can stay flat. This is done so they fit better in the slow cooker. I have seen some people stand them on their side to wrap around the inside instead of cutting. Now rub your season on every side of your ribs and place them into the slow cooker. The next thing I do is drizzle honey on top. Any kind is fine. I used hot honey. The last thing is pouring one half cup of ginger ale around the ribs the ginger ale can be added with the vinegar i just misplaced the bottle or someone moved it put the lid on and cook on low 8 to 10 hours when fully cooked barbecue sauce gets baked or broiled on top now for the beans i use dry navy beans in this recipe this is a two pound bag i'm only using one pound of it i'm doing the quick soak option you can also do the overnight soak if you would like first step is to sort through and remove any bad looking beans. Then I rinse them, then add eight cups of water and bring it to a boil. Once it boils, cover with a lid and turn the heat off, but leave it on that burner for two hours. While they soak, I start the sauce part for the beans. In a pan, add a little bit of oil and one half cup of diced ham or bacon. One small diced red onion, I small pepper, depending on how spicy you like things. You can choose any pepper. I used one half of an Anaheim. They are usually pretty big. Let that cook for a couple minutes. Then add for diced garlic cloves. After the garlic gets added, and you let it get a little color on it. Pour in one and one third cup of mango juice. I have also used pineapple juice, or even water, or broth is fine. Then one cup of water, or any liquid of choice. I'm using my cup, measuring cup to add the rest of my ingredients together. One half cup of barbecue sauce, one quarter cup of ketchup, one quarter cup of mustard. I usually do a little less than that though. Then you add all of that straight into the same pan. Then finally add one third cup of brown sugar. Let that simmer about five to 10 minutes. So the brown sugar is dissolved and it thickens a little. You can then let that stay warm or just add to the slow cooker if or your beans are ready. I drained the water from my beans, then added that with the sauce. I cooked my beans six hours on high. They were pretty soft at four hours, but I let them cook longer. Next, I'm showing you how the ribs look when they are ready. You have to be careful. When you remove them, they will fall apart. We like different barbecue sauces, and some of us prefer no sauce. So I like that they separate easily. I did a few different options. I moved mine to a sheet pan and spread sauce on top. This time I baked them for just 10 minutes while I finished the sides. But if you want a more quick option and are willing to keep a close eye on them, just put them into the broiler. I think the low broiler does better. So it doesn't just burn the top layer of sauce. It gives it a little more time to heat evenly. We had this with homemade french fries, garlic toast, and baked mac and cheese. You can also make the beans with canned beans. They just only take about 30 minutes on the stove or a couple hours in the slow cooker. Try these tender juicy ribs and let me know what you think. Please subscribe and check out the links I have in the description for you.